Hello again, and welcome to the second tutorial in working with ZenModeler. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at uh, configuring your viewports in ZenModeler, and also looking at some basic shapes, which are, to be honest, the building blocks of all the models that we make. Uh, first and foremost, you can adjust the the, uh, the layout of the view you can see here. You can increase decrease the width of the line there similarly and on that axis you can do that as well and you, as you can see we've got four viewports here as a rule of thumb I like to have three model views and a perspective view so you can see what the model actually looks like in sort of a different rendering uh, the way I like to get it lined up is to use for this window, set it to top, which that one is. For this window, set it to the front, which it is. And for this, to the left. Now the way you change these is just click on the label there. And you can see you've got the choice of all these different viewports. UV mapper is something we'll actually look into in a, in a later tutorial when we're looking at, adding, at putting textures on uh, faces and models. Okay, once you've got your Z model set up to the way you like it, we can then start looking at some basic shapes. And these can be found in this menu highlighted here. To select the basic shapes menu, just click on the arrow and you can see here what shapes are available. I'll just quickly run through them for you. A cone, a box and cylinder are all self-explanatory. Uh, the dummy helper you use to create groups within your model, and we'll come to that in a later tutorial, and is useful more towards the end of a model making process. Polygon you'll very rarely use because it's easier to create polygons through the polygons rather through the create menu over there. The sphere obviously is is a ball. It's self-explanatory. Torus or donut and a tube like a pipe. So let's have a look at some of these in the model view. So let's start with corn. Now as this is true with all these uh, uh, basic shapes. You need to click on the shape you want and then actually click the menu so it's highlighted like that. Then move to one of your view windows. I always generally use the top one for this. And to start at the outline <coughs> excuse me, of your shape, left click and hold the mouse button down and drag the mouse towards you and you can see this is going to be your basic circumference of your cone once you're happy with the size of it release the mouse button and left click you can now see a red border around the cone left click again the only thing you'll really need to change here for certainly for cones, uh, cylinders and uh, tubes is the number of sides it has on the the faces. For a nice round cone or for a cylinder I recommend using either 16 or 32. For this example I'll use 16. Once that's OK, click OK and there's your cone. Now before we can actually have a look around the cone due to change any of its properties we need to click the basic shapes menu off and then we can have a look around. As you can see, you've created a basic sealed cone. <coughs> <coughs> and the other three windows shows the model view of it. Now, if you've pl placed a basic shape and you want to get rid of it, just simply right-click on it. And under the Edit menu, choose Delete. And that gets rid of it. Now then, let's have a look at the box. Again, similar uh, structure to follow. Select the shape, click the menu, left click hold, and with the box drag down and then across to the size that you want. Once you've got the right size that you want, release the mouse button, left click to get the red border, left click once again to get the final options window open, and then click OK. Get rid of the uh, basic shapes menu and let's have a look at it. And now you can see the new box you've just created. Okay, let's have a look at the cylinder now. 
clicking on the arrows at the basic shapes menu, click cylinder, click the menu itself, left mouse click hold, drag out to the uh, size of the cylinder you want, release, left click gets your red border, final options window, and then OK. Clicking the menu off, and there we can see your closed cylinder. And that's basically how you create basic shapes and uh, define uh, your reports in Z Modeler. Just before we finish, I'll show you the other two that you'll use more than anything, I should think, and that would be the uh, torus and the tube. Let's look at the torus first. And you do this very similar to the cone and the cylinder. Left click hold, pull down till you get the size you want, then release. Left click again to get the red border. And this time, instead of clicking automatically to get straight through to the final options window, just move the mouse down a bit further. You see another circle coming up. And this will determine the, uh, the thickness of your, your uh, torus, your dome, that sort of thing. When you're happy with it, left click again, final options window, set that to 16, and OK, click off the menu there, and there you can see you've created a donut. Right, let's have a look at the, the final one in the basic shapes for this, tu this tutorial, and that is tube. Same process, left click hold, drag down. Once you're happy with the uh, inside of the tube size of it, just uh, release the mouse button, left click to get the red border. Nope. Try again, there, left click and drag out, and oh, you can see the outside of the tube being formed. Once you've got the right thickness, just left click again, set the uh, sides in the final options panel, and then click OK. And there you can see you have created a tube. And that's all for part two of this tutorial session. I hope you enjoyed it, and see you in the next one. Thank you.